Hey art friends, this lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures. Paramount Pictures asked us to help them celebrate the 40th anniversary of Indiana Jones. And I seriously cannot believe it's been 40 years since <laughs> this movie came out. Yeah. Uh, you weren't even born then. Mm -hmm. But I remember this movie when I was probably your age. Really? <laughs> yeah. They're releasing the four movies on 4K in one collection for the first time. And this makes a perfect Father's Day gift. Yes. Just so you know, <laughs> for Dad. <laughs> and we thought it would be really funny to celebrate Indiana Jones by drawing snakes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like snakes at all. No, he doesn't. <laughs> so we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, but you can use a pencil. You also need some? Paper and some colors. Yeah. All right. You ready to draw? Yes. We can even pretend that this is a snake pit. So we're going to draw a lot of snakes. And let's start down here. We're going to draw our first snake kind of wiggling through the middle of our paper. So we'll start here. We're going to draw a curve that comes up and wiggle around and then back the other way and then maybe even back the other way. <laughs> it's really tricky, but you don't have to make it look exactly like mine. You could make your snake wiggle a different way. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that was fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to draw the other side of our snake. I'm going to leave a little space right here. And watch this. We're going to match the same line. We're going to go around. But as we get towards the end of the tail or the end of our snake, we're going to taper or get closer to the other line. Look how skinny it's getting. And then right at the end, we're going to come to a point. Yeah, concentrate. Ooh, I like how skinny your snake is. That's awesome. There you go. And then taper and touch. Good job. Now we can draw our snake's head. We're going to come out like this, around, and then back in. Kind of looks like the letter U. What's our snake missing? Eyes. Yeah. Let's draw an oval on the left and also on the right. Ooh, we could even add nostrils. Two little dots. Good. We did it. There's our first snake. Now let's repeat those same steps and let's draw another snake. And we're going to draw it right next to this one. So I'm going to draw, well, let's see. I'll start right here. I'm going to wiggle all the way up to the top. Let's see. We'll come around like this. And then, oh, maybe the snake ends in here. Let's do the same thing we did down here and draw the other side of the snake. So we'll leave a little space and we'll match the curve. We've got a little bump in the curve right here. And then we're going to taper, get closer to the other side until we come to a little point at the end. Well, I'm going to draw it a little further around so it curls. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right, now let's draw the snake head. We're going to come out. And this is it looks like a sideways U. Back and then connect in. What should we draw next? The eyes and the nostrils. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's draw an oval on the bottom and also on the top and then the two little nostrils on the front. All right, let's draw one more snake. We'll start up here. We'll draw it on the right side of the first snake we drew and I'm going to draw it wiggly like this. Come around. Whoa. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Curve around and maybe stop there. <laughs> you have a lot of extra room down here. This snake could be really long. There you go. That looks so cool. You did it. All right, let's do the other side again. We'll start up here, leave a little space, and then match the same curve that we just drew. But at the end, we're going to get closer to the other side. I like repeating the same steps because then we get to practice. Yeah. What are we missing? The snake head. Yeah, the head. We're going to start here. We'll curve around and draw another sideways U shape and then connect into the other side. And we could also add the eyes. We could even add a tongue on our snakes too. 
I'm going to draw a little tongue sticking out down here at the bottom. I just drew a line with a little split at the end. Awesome, we did it! We finished drawing our snakes! But we're not completely done. We still need to color it! Yeah, this is my favorite part. And we could also color our snakes differently. We could add stripes, maybe even spots. Or patterns. Oh yeah, diamond patterns. We could even change some of our snakes into rattlesnakes. Or a cobra! Oh, that would be awesome! Alright Austin, you ready to fast forward? Yeah! Let's do it! Awesome, we finished coloring our snakes. They look really cool. But to make them look even scarier and more realistic, let's add a shadow. We're gonna use our light gray marker and we're gonna add a shadow. We're gonna pretend like the light is shining down from the top of our paper and making a shadow underneath our snake. So we'll add a shadow up here and then look, right here I'm gonna get thinner and then disappear. So we're just gonna add it on this top part right there. Look at that. Doesn't that look like there's a snake on your paper now? Yeah. <laughs> you could even make it a little thicker so you can see it better. There you go. It looks like the snake is right on top. It's coming out of our paper. I'm going to add maybe a little shadow on this side over here. And then also right here on this side. And then I'm also going to add it down here on the tail. So you can add a thick gray shadow underneath our snake. Ooh, right here too. I'm gonna add a little shadow right here at the end. <laughs> that looks so cool, Austin. You did a great job. Let's fast forward again and add a shadow to the other two snakes. Awesome, we did it! We finished coloring and drawing our snakes. I really like the colors. Yeah, me too. They turned out awesome. I hope our art friends are going to take time to color their drawings also. Now, they don't have to match our same colors. Yeah, they could change the colors. You could also even add more snakes. I think that would be awesome if you added 10 more snakes to the drawing. <laughs> I don't know if that'll fit. <laughs> it would be really scary. If you do small ones. Small ones? Oh, you could also overlap them too. Okay. Maybe they're behind or underneath these snakes. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing snakes. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have fun changing your drawings, adding more snakes and maybe even different colors. We love you guys so much. And we also want to say thank you to Paramount Pictures for inviting us to help celebrate Indiana Jones. 40 years of Indiana Jones. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.